And the number one way to save money on your swimming pool cost is to replace your standard one speed pump with a variable speed pump. This can save you as much as a thousand dollars a year or more. But unlike your standard one speed pump, a variable speed pump can be programmed to run at different RPMs or speeds. At these lower speeds is where you're going to get all your energy savings on your electric bill. So when you're running your standard speed pump, it's like having the equivalent of 20 100 watt light bulbs running every hour in your house. And compare that to variable speed pump running at 1400 RPMs, which is about 135 watts, which is like having one 100 watt light bulb on per hour as the pump is running. You can see from my actual electric bill from Edison that two years ago I was averaging 27.52 per day. I installed the Jan DVS Flow Pro in September of 2016. And you can see that last year, my average daily use was 15.82. This year, I'm at 15.12. And you can see a dramatic drop in November 2015 to 2016. You can see that I was averaging over 25 kilowatts per day. And then in 2016, it dropped down to around 15 kilowatts per day. So two years after I installed the variable speed pump, I'm averaging about half the power usage that I was two years prior to that without the variable speed pump. And nothing else in my household has changed except replacing my single speed pump with the variable speed pump. And I really like the Jandy variable speed pumps. Jandy makes a variety of different variable speed pumps. If you go to the Zodiac website, click on Jandy, scroll down to the pumps, and you can see the different variable speed pumps that they carry. And I really like the IQ Pump 01 interface. And while you're on the Jandy portion of the site, go ahead and scroll over to where it says calculators. I'm going to scroll over to where it says pool pump savings and just enter your zip code and hit calculate and you can adjust it down if your pool is smaller I'm going to go ahead and put down 15,000 gallons and you can even reduce the runtime if you run your pool less than 8 hours and you can see the total cost per year is $1,629 and here's what you're going to save by installing a variable speed pump $1,428 you can see that the cost per year for a variable speed pump is $200 in my area versus the $1,600 for the standard speed pump. So if you're in the market for a variable speed pump, I would recommend the Jandy VS Pump with the IQ Pump 01 interface. It's a great way to automate your system, to control it, and easily program it, and to check on the wattage and power usage every day. And the app will display the pump speed and also the wattage use. You can see that I'm running it at 1400 RPMs and I'm using 162 watts. 163 watts now and in the app you can easily edit the schedule here what I like about this particular app is that you can actually set the schedule to run for various days by unchecking or checking them you can also set the runtime very easily here by scrolling if your standard speed pump is near the end of its lifespan I highly recommend replacing it with a variable speed pump Inyopools.com is a proud sponsor of swimming pool tips and have been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door.